What's going on there, fam? We back with another one. And what's going on with the Los Angeles Lakers? Now, we know it's only preseason, and LeBron and AD both played well last night. But um, looking at the guard play, uh, I thought Lonnie Walker was a bright spot. And I also thought that um, Patrick Beverly had some good moments. But uh, did you notice Russell Westbrook in the pregame? Uh, he wasn't a part of the team huddle. And then during the game, there was a thing that's gone viral now on social media where Patrick Beverly was calling the team over for a huddle. LeBron was there. Um, all the other players on the team willingly went over to the huddle. But Russell Westbrook refused to go. This is not a good look, especially with the things Russ said in the preseason. Him and Patrick Beverly said all of the right things, man. And I'm going to play you that first because Russ... His whole thing was that he doesn't hold grudges. Life is too short. You got to see Russ pull up for Pat Bev's introductory press conference with Darvin Ham. And, um, you know, you got to see them working out together. They, they were doing everything together. And Pat Bev even said they've been best friends since he's been on the team. He's had nothing but the utmost respect for him and said all the right things. I right, check that out. And I'm going to show you the videos from last night. How much of a process was it for you to move past the history that you had with him as an opponent? Um, no process, man. I'm, I'm an easygoing guy. Uh, I don't like, hold grudges against anybody. Life is too short, man. We, we've been blessed with too many opportunity platforms to walk around and hold grudges and different things of that nature. Um, and I just continue to move forward. Obviously, when I'm on the court, I don't have any friends other than that basketball and the people that's on my team, so I compete as though. Uh, but other than that, off the floor, um, you guys don't know, I'm just a normal guy that likes to enjoy, have fun. Uh, he's a going guy that likes to help and impact people you know, along my journey. Um, after having so many competitive battles against Russ over the years, uh -huh. what sort of early chemistry have you been able to forge with him, and what do you expect uh, moving forward into the season? Uh, so, I, I don't know, I've been here, I don't know, three weeks, three weeks and a half, maybe four, and I'm just guessing. I don't know if I had to pick a, a best friend, a best friend out of a team, you know, you usually have those, it'll be him. And obviously I'm not saying it because you guys are right there, it's been the truth. He's, you know, he's at my press conference. Uh, you know, we, 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 we hit the weights together. And I mean, not like, like team weight stuff. Like, you know, we in the lab, six, 6.30 in the morning together. You know, and this was, this was a month ago. And, you know, people don't understand that. You know, obviously you guys think that we have the worst relationship in the world and at times on court, just like in a profession, I know a lot of you guys don't like each other either. So, <laughs> so you know, if you guys aren't the best co-workers against the, whatever the opposing opposition is. So uh, it's just that same vibe. But when you get two two people who who, 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 who love winning, two alpha males, and you put them together, it, it, it usually works. So uh, I'm super excited. I, you know, and I'll never, and I'll tell you guys this story, and it's perfect time before, and I've never told anyone this story. I, this is when Russ playing with, with the, the Houston Rockets. I don't, we play the Houston Rockets and, you know, <laughs> You gotta think the, 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 what me and Russ had, like, he's at every chapter, and I'm at every chapter. So, mm -hmm. like, the fuel starts there. Like, I'm trying to get right with Jesus at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, looking at this, I'm looking at his size, like, hey, man, why the size look like that, you know? Yeah. So, we play Houston, you know, he comes to me during the game, like, yeah, man, I, I got your sister court side tickets, but I'm I'm in so much game mode. The only thing I hear is my sister. I'm I'm turning around like, hey, what the fuck's going on? You know? <laughs> so I, I, the play calms down to so free throw line. I you know I absorb what he says. I look at my sister. She's on the floor. He gave him gave her her seats. Don't don't know me from a can of paint. Obviously, this is a story he hasn't told. I haven't told. You know. And the next play, I go to him during the game free throw line. Hey, you know what? That's real as fuck. That's real. That's real. You did that. Yeah. And from that point on, if it was yeah. a have a, if I was to name a best friend, so far I've been on the team four weeks, three weeks, whatever. But if I was to name a best friend, it'd easily be him. Easy. Which brings us to last night. You know, you saw the glowing things that Pat Bev had to say about Russ. Russ had to say about Pat Bev. They work out. They got up. They had their own breakfast club type thing going where they get up, work out in the lab in the morning, 6.30 a.m., whatever. And then this went viral last night.
Westbrook. McDaniel's third year out of Washington. Go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. So, yeah, man, looking at that uh, pregame and then that in-game huddle Patrick Beverly was trying to get, uh, LeBron was willing to listen, AD was willing to listen, but it looks like Russ was off to himself. Now, we don't know what happened prior to the game, what tension there is surrounding the team internally, but when things like that happen, we all feel like there's something that's just not clicking and that it has made a nasty spill out into the public and if this is the vibe that the lakers is going to have it's going to be a long season um now you could think you could speculate that the trade rumors over the summer has had an impact uh you could speculate that him and lebron him lebron and ad could still have a little something there because I'm going to play this clip because a lot of people forgot about this at the Lakers exit interviews last year, but Russ made the comment that AD and LeBron don't really let him be himself. When I first got here um, and just being, you know, uh, a person that uh, unfortunately that people create narratives of me and who I am and what I do and what I believe in that are, you know, just not true. Um, I'm always having to like prove myself again in the year after year after year, which is to me just unfair. There's really no reason I have to do that. Um, so when I first got here, um, I just felt that I never was given a fair chance um, just to be who I needed to be to be able to help this team. So, yeah, you see that. I don't know if the tension from that is completely gone either. Because that's that's the one thing people forgot about over the summer. And then it was trade rumors all summer. Trade rumors all summer. And then next thing you know, boom, he's back at training camp and they're playing. And so, man, um, it might be a long year for the late show, man. LeBron AD playing good. But, see, the reason I think it's so big that the guards get chemistry, Lonnie Walker, all the young, one of the young guys got to step up, whether it's Austin Reeves uh kendrick nunn's back you got dennis schroeder um you also have uh pat, pat bev in the fold and somebody has to stand up and and take some of that pressure off Braun because you can't expect ad to be healthy all year that's just one thing we already know ad is not gonna play if, if ad played 60 games i would be shocked i that would be amazing for the lakers that would be good for them if he can get to 60 games a lot of us are expecting him to just play like best case 50 50 games if it's best case because ad hasn't been particularly healthy since they've played in the bubble so that's not something we can rely on at this point so man just looking at that you know as your star begins to age you need to be able to manage his minutes the the level of energy he's exerting on a night-to-night -night basis because you are looking forward to the playoffs and competing in the playoffs so lebron you know he's had a few injuries too his body which has been immortal pretty much through his career is starting to feel a, a little bit of the signs of age and even though he takes great care of himself um these guys gonna have to step up man and it's gonna start with the leadership you're gonna have to have a team on the same page but if we seeing stuff like this now you remember um was it last year was it last season when ad and dwight howard were pushing and shoving over there on the bench because when i saw that i said that their season was over right then that year and seeing something like this with so lebron has the ball a lot handling the ball but russell westbrook or pat bev one of them when lebron doesn't have the ball they'll probably have the ball in their hands so this doesn't bowl well um if they haven't really if pat bev and russ hasn't really put their issues behind them because they're going to need those two to actually be leaders to the young guys and you can't have the older vets uh having riffs like this not on this lakers team you're going to need young confident guys and, you, and the only way for those young guys to get that confidence is for the vets to instill that in them man let me know what you think about this is the lakers do the lakers have a major problem or this may be nothing this is just smoke that went viral like a lot of the other videos let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace